of Story Detectives, sorry, I've cut the other video a bit shorter because I realised I'd gone over my time and if I go too long, I can't get these videos to upload to YouTube. So I'll just go over this one again. So this is the fifth and final video for Papa, please get the moon for me. So uh, just have a look at the words. We've got ladder was at the top, moon, mountain and hug. So I hope you got those right there. And then our word search, let's have a quick look at this. We had uh, going up and down, going vertically, we had sliver, please, uh, mountain, reached, stretched, hugged, smaller, climbed, and moon. So most of them were vertical there. Um, on the diagonal, we had the word grew, and then horizontally, we had ladder and window. So I hope you got those. Um, now this one, I just put this Maker Mobile in because it was we had a lot of activities uh, last week um, and I just thought there was maybe too many. So I put this one in because it's uh, this week's book because it's a really sweet one. If you get a chance to make a mobile, do take a photograph of it and send it to me. I would love to see it if you made a mobile. So that was those. And then our maze. Now, there was probably a few ways of doing this, but I did it this way. I went... From the start, along like this, you have to go up and down, and then you have to go up to the top and all the way down there to his nose. Then you kind of go away from the nose and all the way, wriggles all the way down there to the finish. So I hope you can see that, I hope you got that. And then, where's our last bits? Oh, the writing, I'm looking forward to seeing your handwriting. I think these lines really do help you to focus on the size of the letters. Um, and make sure that they're all kind of, you know, the, the, the they really fit in the right size. So you've got like words like moon where all the letters actually just fit under that dotted line. Then you've got a word right, like reached where we've got the H and the D that reach up to the top there. And then a word like hugged where some of the letters actually go beneath the line. So do try your very best to make sure that you've got the sizing and spacing of your letters um, as well as you can. And then finally, it was the spot the difference. Now, I actually thought this one was quite tricky. When you first look at it, you think, oh, this is going to be easy. But it took me a little while. So the star here, on this star, we've just got a smile. On this star, he's got a smile with a little line under his smile. So that was one difference. Um, and then on this one, he's got stripes on his hat, the moon there. But there's one of the stripes is missing on there compared to here. And on this one, he seems to have a missing eyelash as well. There's some, oh, which one? This one's got missing eyelash. Um, and then his smile, there's like two lines there to make his smile. And there's only one on that picture. And then the star, it was very pointed here. See that? Sorry. And not so pointed on that one. So I think that made five. Right, so thank you guys. That was, can you believe it, the last story detectives for this term. So we started with Cuddly Dudley and we've ended with Papa, please get the moon for me. And we've had another, we had nine books, I think, all together in the middle. Um, so have a lovely Easter, everybody. Um, if you get a chance to give your papas a big hug, then do that because papas are lovely. Um, and enjoy the Easter holidays and um, hopefully we will be back at school eventually and we can do these lessons for real at some point in the future. Okay, bye everybody.